set the denominator equal to 0 and solve. So vertical asymptotes, x squared plus 1 equals 0, x squared equals negative 1, square root, square root, x equals plus or minus i. However, if you guys remember the implied domain, I guess I probably said that, the implied domain was going to be all the values that you can plug into your function that are going to create real, um, real numbers. Plus or minus i, we don't care if we can plug in plus or minus i. These are imaginary numbers, right? So the, this function is undefined when we're plugging in imaginary numbers. We don't care if we're plugging in imaginary numbers. We, only, we don't even graph imaginary numbers on the same you know, uh, grid as real numbers. So we're only going to care about real numbers. So since it's only imaginary numbers that makes this undefined, there are no real vertical asymptotes. Right? There's imaginary vertical asymptotes, but I guess do we really care about having imaginary vertical asymptotes? No. So there's only going to be none. The next thing is we need to look at the horizontal asymptote test. And this is why I kind of chose these two, um, at least over there. So again we, again, we identify the degrees. Since the x to the 0 is always 1, but remember we're comparing the degree in the numerator compared to the degree in the denominator. Since the degree in the numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator, we know that the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. And that was in your notes last class period. So you don't really need to do math. You just needed to know that the horizontal asymptote test, 